Tourette's syndrome is a neurodevelopmental disorder characterized by multiple motor tics and at least one vocal or phonic tic. It is a hereditary disorder that involves motor, cognitive, and motivational as aspects of behavior. <laughs> the average onset is between three and nine years old, with symptoms peaking four to five years after diagnosis. The symptoms are broken up into simple and complex, uh, and then furthermore into motor and vocal. So some simple motor symptoms could be eye blinking, head jerking, shoulder shrugging, and vocal symptoms would be grunting, coughing, and throat clearing. And complex symptoms for motor would include touching objects, repeated movements, obscene gesturing, and bending or twisting. Complex vocal symptoms will include repeating one or another's words and phrases or using vulgar, obscene, or swear words. So Tourette's syndrome can present differently for everybody, so treatment strategies can vary greatly. Overall, individuals with Tourette's syndrome generally have higher levels of anxiety. So a couple interventions that can be helpful include diaphragmatic breathing and also yoga, just to help with relaxation. So another treatment option for people with Tourette's is called habit reversal therapy. So the first step to habit reversal therapy involves helping the patient to learn to recognize their tics. So one option for this would be to have the patient stand in front of a mirror and then just have them watch themselves like perform the tic. And that'll help them just like be aware that it is happening. And then also a lot of people before they get their tics, they also have a premonitory pre urge. And then, um, so that's just kind of like a sensation that they get before their tic happens. And so these two steps can help them just become more comfortable and know when their tic is about to start. And then the third step is helping the patient develop a competing response. So this can be different for everybody, but a couple different options include like having the patient firmly close their fists or closing their eyes or pursing their lips together. And this is just a way for them to suppress the tick. So even though there's no real cure for Tourette's, there are techniques to help your patients manage these conditions. So if you notice your child displaying any of these symptoms, contact your family physician.